Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have seen delta epsilon approach. We have solved a problem where the function is a quadratic polynomial. In this example, we will take the function as a rational polynomial where you have x plus 5 by 8x minus 15. That's the fx we have. We have to find prove that the limit exists as x tends to 2 and that is equal to 7. So we'll go ahead with the same approach whatever we have discussed earlier in couple of examples. We'll start with f of x minus l. We'll start with f of x minus l less than epsilon and we will transform that into the form of x minus l less than delta. We'll establish a relation between delta and epsilon. Then we'll go ahead with the proof. Okay, here we go. Let's start this. So first we have to go with f of x minus l less than epsilon. So I'll write down x plus 5 by 8x minus 15 minus 7. That is nothing but f of x minus l is less than epsilon. Now, if I simplify that, I will have x plus 5 minus 7 into 8x minus 15 divided by 8x minus 15 less than epsilon. If I simplify that, I will have x plus 5 minus 56x plus 105 divided by 8x minus 15 less than epsilon. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to convert this by factorization. Now what I have here, I have 110 minus 55x by 8x minus 15 less than epsilon. That is nothing but equal to I can take minus 55 epsilon mod and I can take x minus 2 divided by 8x minus 15 should be less than epsilon. Now if you remember the approach whatever we have followed always is to convert 8x minus 15 into its transform that into a constant by applying a condition that delta is less than or equal to 1 that gives me we know already that x minus a that is x minus 2 is less than delta that is also now less than or equal to 1. So this is nothing but equal to minus 1 less than x minus 2 less than 1. If you add plus 2, you will see that that is nothing but equal to 1 less than x less than 3. But we have a problem mi minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 less than x minus 2 less than 1. So when we add 2, we will have minus 1 plus 2 1 x minus 2 plus 2 x then we will have 1 plus 2, 3. You see that this function is not defined at x equal to 15 by 8. So I cannot have values of x in this particular range. And you can see that that's almost equal to 2 which is falling here. So lambda less than or equal to 1 is not helping us. Now what is the meaning of lambda sorry what is the meaning of delta less than or equal to 1? Let's try to plot this and see. See here. Now let us say we are saying we are talking about x minus 2. So that means this is 2. You want to go to delta 1 means you want to go to 1 and you want to go to 3. But 1.875 is somewhere there nearby you can't avoid it so what we will do we will try to 
reduce this delta by delta by 10 that means I will take only delta equal to 1 by 10 that means I will take only I will just only take that will be 19 by 10 and 21 by 10 I have taken now now this is not working out because if I go for delta less than or equal to 1 I am ending up with the interval where x is not defined at 1.875 so I am trying to convert the interval constraint the constraint put a constraint on the x-axis that it should be less than the delta interval should be less so I am taking delta is less than 1 by 10 now what that one that will give me that means it will be 2 minus 1 by 10 2 plus 1 by 10 that is perfectly fine because it is 19 by 10 and the value here is 1.875 where x is not defined so we are perfectly fine so why we are not taking delta equal to 1 because if I take delta equal to 1 the x is not defined in this interval exactly at the point 1.875 it is not defined because 8x minus 15 is equal to 0 x equal to 1.875 then it becomes not defined okay right now we have taken delta equal delta less than r equal to 1 by 10 now what this will give us this will give us minus 1 by 10 less than x minus 2 less than 1 by 10 that's nothing but equal to if you so from that can we get 8x minus 15 so for that first we will go to x to get x I have to add 2 if I add 2 I will have we have seen already that will be nothing but 19 by 10 less than x less than 21 by 10 now this is what I will have the x values will be between 19 by 10 and 21 by 10 now we are interested in converting 8x minus 15 that means I should first multiply with 8 so I will say that is nothing but 152 by 10 is less than 8x is less than 168 by 10 now the next step will be I have to subtract 15 so I will say 152 I will say 152 by 10 is less than 8x minus 15 is less than 168 by 10 I have to subtract 15 here I have to subtract 15 here that will give me 2 by 10 is less than 8x minus 15 is less than 18 by 10 can I write it as 1 by 5 is less than 8x minus 15 is less than 9 by 5 but what we are interested is 1 by 8x minus 15 now what is this statement this statement is nothing but equal to 55 into x minus 2 divided by or nothing but can I say 1 by 8x minus 15 less than epsilon that means we are trying to find out what is the value of 1 by 8x minus 15 so for that what I should do I should reverse this it will become 5 by 9 is less than 1 by 8x minus 15 is less than 5 so the max value 1 by 8x minus 15 can take is nothing but 5 so I can go ahead now and I can write it as 55 into x minus 2 1 by 8x minus 15 will take max value of 5 so can we go ahead and write it as into 5 less than epsilon r that gives me x minus 2 is less than epsilon by 275 so this is the condition we have so what will be the value of delta delta is nothing but minimum of 1 by 10 comma epsilon by 275 now with this 
you can go back and we can prove it so one point we have to remember now is that once we take delta equal to 1 we have taken delta equal to 1 and we have seen we have taken delta equal to 1 and we have seen that in that interval the function is not defined at one particular point so we tried to reduce the delta reduce the width the neighborhood width we want to reduce so I have taken delta less than or equal to 1 by 10 so that it will be between 19 by 10 and 21 by 10 that is perfectly fine because we are not touching 1.875 we are just cross it that and we are at 1.9 so this is perfectly fine so based on that we have found what is the max value of 1 by 8x minus 15 and we have taken delta equal to minimum of 1 by 10 or epsilon by 275 once we got this we can go ahead with the proof let's go ahead with the proof we'll go ahead with the proof we will say for every epsilon greater than 0 let delta equal to minimum of 1 by 10 comma epsilon by 275 let mod of x minus 2 less than delta then we will say then after that next step will be coming here we will say f of x minus l that is nothing but equal to here this is nothing but equal to now we can simple we have simplified this if you remember we got 55 mod of x minus 2 divided by mod of 8x minus 15 but we know the max value 1 by 8x minus 15 1 by 8x minus 15 is less than 5 so I can say 55 into 5 into x minus 2 I can take it as delta so that is nothing but equal to 275 because I know x minus 2 is less than delta so I can write delta there now delta is nothing but equal to epsilon by 275 we have discussed how I can write delta equal to epsilon by 275 in earlier examples so this is nothing but less than epsilon so this is how we can prove rational functions also now only the difference you see is earlier we have in the numerator the algebraic expression which needs to be converted into a constant taking a constraint on delta whether you want it to limit it to 1 or 1 by 4 or 1 by 10 whereas here we have it in the denominator when we have it in the denominator we will have one more extra step we we just check for what is the value of 8x minus 15 then we check for what is the max value of 1 by 8x minus 15 if you remember if 2 is less than x is less than 4 then suppose let us say x equal to 3 here okay you can observe that 1 by 4 will be less than 1 by x will be less than 1 by 2 this is a condition what we have applied there and we have found out the maximum value of 8x minus 15 1 by 8x minus 15 so you can see that 2 less than 3 less than 4 1 by 4 is less than 1 by 3 1 by 3 is less than 1 by 2 based on this logic we got that that's nothing but equal to max value is 5 so we have substituted that and we got it so let's solve some more examples as part of limits in the coming session thanks for your time bye for now